Hi everyone, welcome back to Data Girl channel. I am so excited today that I can share you guys one of my favorite projects have my portfolio stand out and especially this project brought me an idea how to earn my passive income right after I graduate. Let's go. In this video, I will scrape the page zillow.com. I just read in California because it is where I am living now. And you can see there's a lot of properties on this state right now in Redding. And I will choose for sale by owner only. I will tell the reason why I choose it at the end of the video. And you can go ahead and choose any feature as your wish. You can see here 14 houses is listed by owner. And uh, in this video, we will go ahead and pull all the information like uh, amount, the um, information, bed and bath, address, and the town that it is listed. Also, the link to each property that is shown in this page. Now, let me show you the code. First of all, we need to load all the needed libraries for this project. Second, we need to assign the URL of this project, which is yellow.com here. And this is for Redding. You just need to copy here and paste. The next step is really important one, which is to have a header for our request to make our scraper look more human, which help us to avoid getting blocked from the page. And I'll show you how do I get that. First of all, go to the page, right click, inspect, and then click network. And then uh, we need to reload the page. And then you can see the Q, uh, question mark and search here. And then you roll it down and you see the request headers. This is all needed information we need to header, but some of them like accept language. Um, and the more important one is user agents here. We will copy them and then paste it in our header, assign them as dictionary like this. And then we just need to send a request combine the URL and the header. Now we can check the status of our request. Uh, if it's returned to unread, which means that the request has succeeded. Now encoding our response to collect the content, and then we can use the beautiful soup to cook our raw HTML with the HTML parser, or we can use different one like HTML file or LXML and so on. And you can see here, this is all the HTML that we get from our um, request. And from here, now we can start to pull all our needed information. As first of all, we can use it to check the title of our page today, which is subtitle.test. And then we get ready in California for sale by owner, which is what we're looking for. All set. And now let's dive into the detail. We want to pull the address, link, price, detail, post system. First step, we will use some random sleep time here to make our bot sleep programmatically between scraping processes. This will have our bot look more human. Uh, then a call today, which is just have for the to find the posted time later. Then we want to create a empty data frame to append all data after we pull them from the web page. This step, we need to find the part that contain all the information we need from the soup that we just cook. And uh, to make it easier, we can look straight from the web page. Turn this off. To find it, we just need to right click, inspect. And then uh, here we are. We can see that this is the price of uh, the first properties. So, um, but first of all, we don't need this right now. We just need to find the the card that contain all of this information, which is Li. Each LIs represent for each property. So we can see here, this is all of the Li LI here. And under each LI have article. So we need to find all the article of each Li. So we will copy the class and then paste it and we call it houses and now we will dive in uh, a loop which is for each house in houses the general house we will try to find each address uh, how do we find it address here so we right click on the address inspect and then we can see address here we just need to copy the uh, data test and then paste it right here and get the test same for price we just right click on the price that we already show inspect and we can see here span data test just copy them and paste make it become a dictionary and then get the test only link the same post time we will uh, right click on the time inspect and then same we just copy the span class and then paste it 
and here we will add with the string today to have an idea what time and from which day that we, we scrape. And then detail, which is I want to find out this row, inspect. And you can see all of the information like for sale by owner, um, the number of room is under span, so we just copy those and paste and get a test. We will have to use try and accept in this uh, for loop because sometimes we will get none values and if we do not use this accept, it will return an error. After all, we can add all information to the data frame and this is what we have. Address, price, link, post system, and the detail. This code was created in 2021 and it doesn't work right now. As you can see, all the structure have changed compared to the new one. So when you try my code in the future or near future, make sure it's matched with the structure of uh, the current Zillow data. That's easy, guys. With this piece of code, you can start to collect the data daily, monthly, annually, and start do some analyze on it. Put it on your profile. That's it. Now is the time for me to answer the question, how did this help me to earn money? So I attend some conference, real estate conference, and I told, I tried to talk to everybody that I can scrape data for them, analyze them, and send them every morning or every day. So some of them end up side up with me. That is it. Scraping is not easy, but it's fun to try. Thank you. See you in the next one.